It's always curious where poems come from. This this poem, I know all the occasions that gather around it and sort of in a constellation. But the trigger prompt was listening to the, the wonderful Nuala Nihonal um, read the poem Ek Folam Avosh, Learning Death. And I was so taken with the phrase and it went echoing around in the, the vast empty space between my ears for a very long time. And then the phrase as a title found its occasion and hence the poem. And I suppose that's one of the strange conversations that we, that we, that we have in poetry, crossing languages and epochs and eons, um, words, phrases that are in themselves powerful, that will trigger thought, event, emotion. And they seem to float back and forth from hand to hand, from page to page, from year to year, decade to decade. So in a sense, I owe this poem to Nula's poem, but it would probably have come out as a slightly different poem with a different title. But the title did certainly direct it. Does that make any sense? Grant. Learning Death. The first time I knew myself mortal, that unmistakable catch in the breath, we were new to each other still. I was stroking your face as you sank towards sleep and said without meaning to, call me if you need me over there. Full moonlight, the square white bedroom, your eyes startling open, aftershock and the cold air of what I had just said. The crackling electric thought we took, one breath between us so close we lay. How matter of fact that was, how clear. And there we were, born up on a void soundlessly opened, shy with each other, stricken all of a sudden to know time might contrive to part us against our will. I knew what mortal meant. You might call, and I would not be there for you. Grief worse than any I had felt in my life until then. Now, facing the white blank of the page, that thought again unbidden. There will be an end to words, an end to compact breath. You shaped my face in your hands. You said, you'll be there, I'll be there, and we slept.